Pretty much I look up to a lot of people in the low rider industry. And, and I really think that that's the grassroots of everything. You know, those guys have been doing it forever and they've been doing an amazing job at it, man. I didn't want to fall into that realm though. Um, I really want to do things my way. And when I started doing automotive stuff, I really wanted to branch out. I told guys, no, I don't want to do the filigree. I don't want to do that. I want to bring something different to the table, something that hasn't been done and kind of push my own boundaries and push you know, the, the standard engraving boundaries um, to see where, really where it could go. Pretty much the, the game changer for me was my first, I guess you want to say art competition or um, I guess it was a competition. It was a, a veteran arts festival that um, I did a piece called Tears of Blood. And what I did was pretty much just a collage of emotion and kind of just rawness that I felt, uh, you know, that represented my time in the military, you know, being in garrison, losing brothers overseas, and then coming home and just pretty much all that raw emotion went into one piece. And I actually ended up taking best of show and it took first place in metal art and engraving. I spent 10 years in the in the Army, so I was an uh, infantryman for 10 years. I've done tours in Kosovo, Iraq, and Afghanistan. So I love doing, you know, retirement pieces. I hate doing memorial pieces for our fallen brothers and sisters, but I also love it at the same time. Uh, it sucks that, you know, it has to be done, but it's just an honor for me to be able to you know, give the family something that they can always cherish and remember. And, you know, maybe it's cool that they know it's done by, you know, combat vet, something that maybe, you know, we have a connection with, whether I know them or not. And uh, once I got out of the military, I went to uh, Arizona Automotive Institute and joined their combination welding program. Um, from there, that's when I first picked up the Dremel, really for the first time. Uh, one of my instructors asked me to write my name on a piece of work that I was doing and I, I saw some sort of freedom in it. I saw something that I knew I could do something great with it. So I started off as uh, MFIC Metals, Motherfucker in Charge Metals, and that was straight up out of the garage. And once I started getting you know, noticed by more and more people, companies started reaching out to me and pretty much had to rebrand at that point. Um, it's kind of hard selling you know, trophies to a school when you're the motherfucker in charge. So I uh, changed the name to Hanro Studios. It's just Hank Robinson, Hanro. Kind of pretty simple, made it, made it simplified. One day people started actually buying, you know, my, or my engravings. And um, in 2011, I pretty much just threw in the towel on being a welder and decided to take my engraving full time. Starting to branch out in different things, doing crazy custom bikes, engraving cars, engraving anything and everything. I do a lot. So I've been an artist in residence for Dremel since 2013. Um, so we've had a pretty good uh, relationship so far. Um, typically what I do is I go out and do live demos of their tools at different shows. So anywhere from car shows to, I've been doing the Ace Hardware trade shows. Um, and then I'll go out, Ace Hardware's teamed up with uh, Children's Miracle Network. And so what I'll do there is I'll engrave a piece live during the weekend, and then we'll actually auction it off and all the proceeds from the engravings go to the Children's Miracle Network. And it's just, it's cool that, you know, different companies and different partnerships are being made through you know, something that came out of nothing, really. So, I mean, it's it's awesome. I hate people that sell out. You know, that's kind of my thing. But the Dremel Maker kit is eighty dollars at Home Depot. And <laughs> no, but uh, something like this. It's a Dremel Maker kit. It's super basic tools. It comes with a Dremel engraver, a Dremel two hundred, 
and the Dremel torch. So all the metal engravings that are on the box are, this is an exhaust tip that I did on a, um, some engraved rims that I did on my buddy's dually, so. I don't know, it's been just really good working with Dremel. It's been eye-opening, man. They help me out in everything that I do. I uh, recently teamed up with uh, Wounded Warrior Project. We have six, six to eight different uh, Wounded Warrior alumni and I bring them here every other Saturday and we do a basic engraving course. So yeah, obviously give them so much for us. So it's awesome. Uh, Dremel pretty much sponsored all of the tools. So uh, every person in my basic engraving class from gets to keep the Dremel tool afterwards. So uh, it's pretty awesome that they can learn and I can teach them, you know, a different outlet. I, I feel that uh, a lot of these guys out there with uh, post-traumatic stress disorder um, and TBI need to have an outlet, you know, something that they can get away from. And that's kind of my main focus is on giving back to the veteran community since they, you know, obviously given so much for us. What MC is that? Letterman? I think you want to. Since we're gonna be doing fucking simple, which is gonna be the dot dots, mm -hmm. do this outer line, do this line, this line, this line. So all this right here will be dot dots, all the black area right there. Okay. This won't be, so this will be the, just the regular aluminum. My 2014 Dodge Ram. Um, I found out that the hood was aluminum on the Ram, so I engraved the hood. I wanted to do kind of like a Viking Nordic kind of theme on it, so it's a uh, theme to Warriors Chariot, kind of make it still represent, you know, our military guys, but in a completely different way. That's how I feel about it. So I've had this truck for just about two years, kind of. I had a lot more planned for it, and then I started on Freedom Blues, so I've kind of been neglecting, neglecting the Warriors carry it for a little bit. tuning everything out, throwing my beats on, whether I'm listening to a, a podcast or listening to anything, I kind of just zone out and really want to understand and feel the entire process and the piece that I'm doing. Uh, once I found out that Ford was coming out with an all military grade, all aluminum truck, I was like, okay, military grade aluminum, I'm a military veteran. I love everything about my veteran brothers in the military, so why not do a dedication to our military, you know, in my time. So I pretty much focused more on Afghanistan, Iraq guys, rather than taking it all the way back throughout the wars. So I knew once that they had an all aluminum truck that I had to. I just had this vision. It was a masterpiece on a truck rolling down the street, and it was just raw, and it was done by hand. Guys here at FX Auto Body uh, painted the entire build. It's all a Stratton Blue House of Color, um, super custom. Took a three stage, made it into a two stage, matte clear, and then I engraved over that. I hit uh, Nick up at American Force Wheels and kind of told him what I wanted to do with the build. 
and they've been awesome. So I will be at their booth, and then I will be engraving every day of the show, finishing out the truck live there at SEMA. So I really wanted everybody to grasp that it was engraved. So he made it work, but we definitely wanted, you know, to bring the noise and kind of get people around it and actually see what it takes, you know, to do an entire, to engrave an entire truck. So probably by the time I'm done on Friday at SEMA, I'll probably have about 750 hours uh, worth of engraving on that truck. Hopefully it inspires, you know, at least one person to go out there and try something that they want to do and turn it into a business or turn it into something that you can do on the weekends and just actually take the time and try something new, go out and make something, whether it's, whether it's engraving, whether it's building boats, whether it's skateboarding, do something that makes you happy and you know, try to give back. So that's pretty much all I got. I'm out this bitch. Nothing's not engraved. What's that? How come that thing's not engraved? Fuck, dude, if I could do stuff for myself, yeah. I would.